let's see what you can see with four expedition guides on two different ships in one country for three weeks. Did you imagine so much wildlife? Today is January 1st, 2024. What does that mean? It means that Waterproof Expeditions is advertising for polar bear and whale watching tours for this year. It means you and I have a new year to make a difference in the world, to follow our dreams, to continue journeying separately and together. It is a time to reflect upon our past and our future. In this video, I will focus on Norway and waterproof expeditions, how we view ourselves, others, and life is our choice. We often think others are lucky and do not see our own fortune. I think Marlinda, Rini, Elizabeth, and all the guides around the world are lucky. In reality, it is not that they are lucky, but that I have so much admiration for them. Let's come back to today, January 1st. I would love to take two or three polar bear trips this year. There are several companies to choose from, but I would choose one with Rini. Why am I envious of Rini this year? Because of what I said earlier. It means you and I have a new year to continue journeying separately and together. It is a time to reflect on our past and our future. Reflecting a little on tour guides around the world Norway and waterproof expeditions today, we can better see and understand those who came before us and how we can make a difference in the world. Waterproof's philosophy is to provide you with an amazing experience without disturbing the wildlife. Spending the time in the animal's habitat is truly amazing and it is wonderful to respect them and their surroundings. As I learn from the Aboriginal people around the world, I have a deeper appreciation of them and Waterproof's philosophy. Today, I am thinking about what I saw in Norway in 2023, and imagine what Rini and others will see in 2024 and the future. Norway is in a period of 24-hour darkness, so we see city lights on this first day of the year. It is what is happening today that causes me to dream about taking a polar bear trip this year. That is why I am envious of reading. What is the significance of today, January 1st, 2024? What role did waterproof expeditions play in my joy? In Rini's over 30 plus year career, there were two instances in which he saw two polar bears mating. The first was many years ago. The second was last year in 2023, on a trip that I witnessed the act of the two polar bears mating also. This is why I am interested in a polar bear expedition in 2024. While snorkeling with orcas in Norway in 2023, Yes, with waterproof expeditions on this trip as well. The mating female bear was nearby, probably bedding down for the winter. This is where it would be so nice to communicate with scientists tracking polar bears. You may think tagging and monitoring wildlife is disruptive, but without the process, we would not be as smart as we are about our world today. We can learn a lot 
from the Aboriginal people. We are in January 2024, and this is happening. A mother bear is giving birth and tending to her cubs in a den. Normally, polar bears do not hibernate. In March, the cubs will exit the den and fight for this year to survive. During this summer, if you are on a polar bear expedition and see a mother with a cub or two, you can wonder if you are seeing the mating female polar bear of 2023 as a mother with her cubs. Rini will return to Svalbard, and he may find a mother and her koi's cub of the year. Curiosity may cause him to wonder if he is seeing the mating polar bear from 2023. However, it does not end here. In 2025, he and you may see a mother with her cubs, something we also saw in 2023, and question if it is the same mating bear of 2023. Today is January 1st, the beginning of a new year. It is a time of birth. Setting goals is often attributed to this day. Let's not only make goals, but continue with the journey. Let's dream, believe, and achieve. Remember, dreams give us hope. Let's make the world a better place. So, what role did waterproof expeditions play in my joy? While reflecting on the past year, I think of seeing polar bears, and especially baby polar bears. I remember swimming with orcas in Norway, not far from where I spent my amazing polar bear encounter. Today, I visualize the mating polar bear giving birth. For the future, I imagine you, Rini, and me body the new mother and her baby cubs. And even next year, I imagine you and Rini seeing the mother and her cubs. I find great pleasure and joy experiencing what I did and knowing that you can have a fantastic journey. Have a happy and blessed new year.
Thank you.